About to touch down again. I went up the hill a bit. Not much further up the hill, but just enough that I'm kind of like um, up over where I'm at right now. Actually, I'll, I'll, I'll show you the difference once I finally land. Like I said, it wasn't, it wasn't too far. Let's just boost a little bit. And I want to come down gently again. But, you know, then I, you see that I'm going at like four meters a second, which isn't a lot. Uh, I just, I want to be going like under two if possible. I think that's, that's kind of like the best number that I've come up with for landing this thing with the, the rover underneath. Oop, oh, that's not what I wanted. Uh, okay, that'll work. Uh, what biome are we in? We are in slopes. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. So. I was like off over here and I just floated up over here. Uh, so I'm at the slopes and this has actually worked out quite well for me. I was hoping that there's like a really small spot here, right? A really small spot that you have the opportunity to get the slopes biome. And it's in between this one and actually uh, Highlands. Yeah, the Highlands. And the Highlands is just up the way a bit. So I'll get the data. Um, okay, good. I'm just keeping an eye on my fuel. You know how I am. So that's all done. Yeah, I got that. Review data, review data. I can't do that, but I did get this. Have I done these? No, perform the soil analysis like usual. Uh, let's get the camera rolling. And we will blast the ground once it figures out. There it is. Okay, fire. Love it. Cool, and we will close the camera. We will do a crew report. Yes, keep that. Uh, Burfree, it's your turn. Let's go. Let's jump and... Uh, uh, oh, slow motion. Slow motion Burfree fail. All right, let's get get up. Get up. Let's uh, EVA report. Yeah, like usual. And take our surface sample. Perfect. We're going to boost back up over to the science vessel. Oop, too much. I need to remember to put ladders on this. I seriously do. Okay. Oh, got it. Uh, uh. Okay, he did it. Perfect. So we have that. And I can review that and transmit it. Perfect. Now, I'm, I'm looking at the map. I'm about right here. Here-ish, which is like right on the slopes. It seriously is like the perfect slope spot. Right up here. Ooh, maybe. Maybe it's not. It's it's hard to tell. It is quite hard to tell. There is the highlands that I'm trying to get to. And I believe it's like right in here-ish. Very hard to tell. Um it could, I could, it could be hit or miss. Uh, let's let's shoot up over there and see if we manage to get it or not. It, you would think that is the Highlands, like right there. I mean, it looks like Highlands, right? I mean, they're high, and they're lands. You know, it's it makes sense. It makes perfect sense. I probably should get a bit closer to the ground before I start wasting fuel here, though. Uh, just keeping that in mind as I go. Let's get a little closer. Uh, about there. Perfect. Still a little premature, but, you know, it'll work. Also, I appear to be going horizontally and not vertical. There we go. That's a little better, right? I think so. Okay, that should drop me straight down and... This honestly doesn't look like Highlands. I don't know. Uh, I don't. Uh. The problem is there's so many maps for this kind of stuff that I don't know which one is the updated one, honestly, or which one's the accurate one. There are a few mods that uh, map out, like ScanSat, I think is one of them, which I've talked about before. It maps out the biomes on all of the, uh, the planets and whatnot. And it does a really, really good job of it. Why does it say I'm going nine meters a second? 
which direction am I going nine meters a second on? Like it does. Sorry, but I don't. I don't think that's accurate. All right. Uh, it still says I'm going nine meters a second. <laughs> it's the the speed of the plant plant planet. Ooh, that was bad. No, these are Midlands. Unfortunately, my fuel is in emergency reserves here. I think I'm just going to have to, because I think the Highlands are like literally right up here. I don't know. Uh, we'll reset that. Because I have the Midlands. Do I? Yes. Do I? I have Lowlands. Do I have Midlands? I should have Midlands. Okay. Uh, review store data. Slopes, greater flats, greater flats, greater flats, greater flats, greater flats, greater flats. Lowlands. I've got lowlands. Slopes, slopes, greater flats. Oh, we're going back around. I don't think... What? I thought I had... I, I'm so confused. I. Okay, it looks like we're doing it. Which one was it? This one? Cool. Whatever. It works. Uh, keep that data. Yeah. We will... Keep this data, and we'll log the temperature, get the accelerometer, gravity data. Uh, we need to soil sample, soil analysis rather. Let's get the crew report sending off so that way I can open the camera and get it pointing the correct direction because it's going to point at the rover again. That's Fire Z laser. And we will close the camera. And last but not least, uh, Gersrim. Let's get you up. Maybe, maybe that's the way they trained to get out of the, the science vessel. Maybe that was how they trained to get out. It could be. I mean, it very well could be. Uh, it's not like it's uh, an ineffective way of getting out. It's just... If there were more gravity, it would be much more painful. Maybe that's why they trained that way to uh, get out of the science vessel. It's, it's whoa, oh, oh, oh! He's just he's just showing off now. Yeah, he's he's showing off. Yeah, maybe that's the reason they they chose to get out because it was a a quicker way down uh, in their maths that they had. Now we all know that Kerbal maths are not necessarily the most accurate. All right, let's get into orbit because we have all of our science filled out here. Now, let's look at our map because if I manage to get a... I don't think I... Oh, that's a cool... I, that scared me, actually. I forgot all about that. Uh, if I manage to get a rendezvous with the moon that also takes me back to Kerbin, that would be good because I picked up a mission before we we set off that was gather science data from around the moon which would be quite useful as you probably well aware all right now time to get into orbit it's pretty easy with min miss i'm gonna get to about 20 um 20 000 is, is about there okay i'm gonna speed up i'm gonna keep an eye on my fuel yeah we got plenty of fuel to get back and once we're at Apoapsis, which we are now, kind of, you know, sim similar to how we're, we get off of uh, Kerbin. So we're going to get our orbit. And uh, fuel is fine. I probably could have done a jump to see if I could get to the highlands. But I think I think we, we have enough science data, right? Also... I don't want to meet the Highlander, who is probably on the Highlands, because Gersrim fancies himself a Highlander. And the problem is, there could only be one. I had to do the joke. I had to do the joke. Don't you, don't you judge me. We need to leave uh, the orbit of this by... Uh, okay. And I think, actually, I'll do it from this side. And... I'll just, uh, there we go. And from there, I might be able to get myself a good maneuver. All right, cool. So let's get over to where that will be, which is like 
35 minutes ahead of us, but you know, that's why we are allowed to speed up time, right? It's the best way to do it. And then we'll get this pretty simple maneuver done. We'll get out of the influence of Minmus, as you are well aware at this point. It's very easy to do because of that low gravity. That low grav though. Okay, and whoop, there we go, perfect. Let's speed up the time. I'm gonna quick save just in case. Speed up time. Uh, I'm kind of curious actually why we're... Okay, good, I, I still have the the Magnus Rover attached. You never know. I, you know, get, getting out of Minmus, I may have very well accidentally dropped it. You know, it, it could happen, this is Kerbal. So I'm going to try my hardest to get a rendezvous with the moon yet not use up all of my fuel that's pretty good uh i like that a lot okay uh not turn caps locks on and i'm still sp speeding on ahead so had to slow us down there okay now we will seven days we should have plenty of oxygen and all that. They they don't have any issues with this, right? Those numbers are rapidly changing. However, we stocked up for quite a long mission. You never know uh, when you're going to get stranded and, and need a rescue, for instance. Especially on a first-time mission to a foreign moon. Therefore, they gave themselves plenty of snacks to come along with. Uh, what snacks, you may ask? Fritos and uh, Lay's. But, you know, Burfrey, being Burfrey, brought uh, Ruffles because he believes the ridges uh, allow for greater aerodynamic lift uh, when when leaving the atmosphere. It's, it's, it's just, uh, you know, it's an astronomer thing. He, he, just don't worry about it. Okay, cool. So we got that. Perfect. Now, I am going to quick save in case anything explodes when I time warp. And, okay, that always, it's, it's the same term that I use for, for raiding in MMOs when you almost die. It's the, the very close butt pucker, right? You, you just kind of like, like, ooh, ooh, that was close. I thought I was not going to make it, but that's what happened there. Okay, we need to do something like that. So, basically, I'm trying to... You know, retrograde here, but not enough to get an orbit whoop, around the moon. So, whoops, quit speeding up. There we go. And I'm, I'm kind of going to just eyeball this, really, honestly. And we will figure out the math later. So, this is not looking too bad. In fact, it's looking quite good. Uh, let's go full power just to speed this up. And there's that periapsis, perfect. Okay, so we're gonna speed up. We're gonna get out of the influence of that moon. Whew, that was that was intense. Who knew what was happening there? I had no idea. And we're just going to completely slow the heck down and get back to Kerbin. That is now our goal. Oh, wait, oh, see this, this is why, this is why I quick save. I forgot to get the science data. That was the whole point of doing that. Why would I forget to do that? Don't ask me. Okay. Uh, plus, I'll probably not screw it up so much this time. So, you know, it's better all around. Okay, science data, science data, science data. What can I do? Crew report, maybe? Uh, no, I think I actually need to, like, do a science thing. Well, I mean, here's the deal. Uh, review data. See, this, it's only going to give me 40 for this. If I, quick save, if I reset and then log temperature. Okay, see, that's what I had a feeling was going to happen. So that's why I quick saved. I need to find a science thing that isn't giving me much science, right? And the reason why is because this mission that I have... Plant flag on Min. Space around Kerbin. Space around Minmus, right? 
this this one gives me so much. It's like 600 science, which is just absurd. It is absurd. It's absolutely absurd. So I need to find a, a way of getting science. You know what? Turn these on. Put lights on it for a reason. May as well use it. Maybe uh, review data. Yeah, that's 50. Uh, let's reset and observe. Okay, high over the moon, keep data. Transmit or recover scientific data from space around Minmus. Did I do that? Oh, I, th I think I have some. I think I have some. Uh, if not, we're going to go back to Minmus anyway, so that's not a big deal. And the one for Kerbin, I'll, I'll hang on to. That we, we've, we've got plans for that. I don't plan on doing that. Okay, so... Let's go back to this where I will actually I don't I don't think I actually really need to do that. So let's let's get out of the influence and then we're just gonna slow the heck down. Like I did last time, minus the not doing what I meant to do. And uh, we will get our encounter with Kerbin again. 